Hey, we're not the only babes in these woods. Hello! It's locking. I thought it was you guys. Hey. Little John, how, how are you? Oh, Doc, this is Sergeant Larkin, Fox Company. Hi, Doc. Sergeant, nice to meet you. Well, what's with you guys? We got cut off. Cut off from a whole outfit. Yeah, me too. The crowd hit us hard down around Mon Chao. Boy, it was wild. Well, the same thing happened to us, only closer to Ray Ron. Ray Ron? Yeah. That's a general breakthrough, then. Any idea where home is? I figure somewhere east of here. Maybe close to Lorraine. East? Yeah. I was thinking on going south. That's where my outfit was headed when we got hit. Well, that's happened since then. You want to come along with us? Yeah, I guess so. Well, I spotted a farmhouse back there. Maybe we can find out something. Let's give it a try. Okay, you crowds, you bums, come on, rush me, get your heads blown off. One of our guys. Combat. Starring Vic Morrow. And Rick Jason. Guest star, Roddy McDowell. the wrong guys. We're G.I.s. G.I.s? Why, you honey con artists? Come on, get your lumps. What's with that clown? Keep him bent on. going anywhere on this leg. Little John, get my Thompson up there, will you? Murphy, Henry, 1938-4807. Let's bring him over there, huh? Oh. Doc, check him out, huh? Hey, what's the big idea? Didn't you see our uniforms? <laughs> uniforms. <laughs> yeah, I saw their uniforms, too. Yeah, genuine G.I., just like you. You know what's inside? Genuine kraut. 
Yeah, I was crawling through that field right over there. And when I saw him, yeah, I thought I'd, I'd luck myself on some help. Yeah, some help, all right. I was just about to yell out, and they started jabbering away in crowd. <laughs> yeah, they were having themselves quite some coffee clatch when I threw that grenade. Germans. Well, now, only on their mom pa side. You know, they're infiltrating our lines, disguised as GIs. That's their new wrinkle. Well, haven't you heard? But they call themselves, uh, 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 Kleppner's Raiders. Yeah, we heard about it. What happened to your leg? Catch a piece of yarn grenade? Oh, no, I got that last night. Yeah, we got into quite some mix-up back there in Raron. Well, let me have a look at it. Don't you do me no favor. How do I know who you really are? All right, Doc, we'll fix it later. Let's get to the farmhouse. Give him a hand, huh? Let's have a look at that leg. I can take care of my own wound. You're sure the stubborn type, Murph. Let him look at it. <laughs> it's the way I earn my living. Oh. I did not know that I had visitors. I was in the back garden. You here alone? I live here with my brother. He is not here just now. I am Lambert Catego. How come you speak English? It is forbidden. I was a school teacher for a lifetime. You are American, of course. Well, what do we look like? Appearances are very deceiving these days. You may as well be infiltrateurs. Woods must be full of them. What do you know about infiltrators? We know all about them, monsieur. We've learned to our sorrow. Kleppner's men, they dress in American uniforms and make lightning raids. Yeah, we know all about it. But we are Americans. We better check out this place. Larkin, you get the barn? Hello, John, you're on me. Which way is your cellar? Lapa. This last night? Yeah, that's right. Why? Well, you're lucky. Usually a wound this old shows a lot more swelling than that. Oh, well. I guess I am lucky then, huh? You didn't use any sulfur either, did you? Well, no, I, um... Uh, I lost mine. <laughs> you guys never learn, do you? 
Army gives you sulfur to save your life, and what do you do? You lose it. You ought to be like those Germans. I understand those poor slobs almost never get an issue of sulfur. Yeah, how about that? How long will it be before I'm able to move? <laughs> What's your rush? Hey, you won't be going anywhere for a few days. Not very far, anyway. But don't worry, you'll be all right. It's clean. At least nobody's down there. My brother and I, we make a practice of collecting them. Oh, yeah? From where? The dead. What do you collect them for? Self-protection. But we use them only against the bush, I assure you. Where's your brother now? Two hours ago, he went into the woods to collect dry twigs for the fire. What's up there? The bedroom. We'll keep in front of us. Go ahead. What in the world is that? It's a log carrier. What does it look like? Looks like a log carrier. <laughs> How's it warm, Murph? Oh, it's fine now. Find anything in the barn? No, clean. You find anything? What's that? Oh, it's a log carrier. Spotted in the barn. Figured it might come in handy for a guy who can't walk. That's a good idea. What do you say, Murphy? I say everybody back against that wall. What's this all about, anyway? You just shut up and get those shirts off. What is it that's happening here? You stick around, Pop. You're about to see something open your eyes as big as sunflowers. Okay, now, turn around. But that's fine. Now raise your right arm, put your hand behind your head. Lock in. Come on, move. Well, I guess I'm wrong. So I had to make sure. Hold it. This is the second time you've been wrong. Now get this through your head with GIs. I don't let it happen again. I had to be sure. Had to be sure of what? Wait. You see, SS guys, they got uh, identification as tattooed right here. I heard about that. But where do SS men come into this? Uh, you see, I, I uh, hear that Kleppner, that, that big cheese, I hear he's SS. So I, the way I had it figured is that he'd have his own guys working with him. Yeah, well, stormtroopers were not. Okay, then. What about those guys in the machine gun nest? I figured you had to be crowds when I saw the direction you was heading. Direction? What has direction got to do with it? Plenty. You were heading east, right into the German sector. I figured you was cut off Germans trying to get back to their own lines. Yeah, Saunders thought that our lines were east, too. I told him they weren't. He's right, Saunders. They're in the south, around St. Veith. St. Veith? Yeah. Oh, well, now, I think it's south. Hey, hey, Pop, what direction is St. Veith from here? South, monsieur. Hey, you see? South. Yeah, the, the orders came through to our unit right after that mess at Rayron. 
I'd have been with them, except my leg gave out and I, I straddled behind. We were heading towards St. Vith. You know something? We might just be lucky we stumbled across this boy. Okay, let's not go off to talk and settle up. If we're going the wrong direction, we're pretty close to trouble right now. Well, hey, hold on, wait a minute. Are, are you going to leave me here for the crowd? We're all leaving together, Murphy. What do you think I brought this log carrier in, pal? I'm going to make an A1 stretcher when I get it added up a little. All right, Doc, you help lock him with that. Little John, you come with me. We'll check outside, see if everything's clear. Let's go. Pad this. You got any uh, old sacks or bags around? There are sacks in the cellar, and hay in the wagon. Good. Uh, Doc, get me an armful of hay, will you? Make this thing a little easier to lie on. All right, Bob, let's go. Lock in. How come you to think of it? Uh, the, the stretch, I mean. Well, now, why shouldn't I think of it, Murph? You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? Be right back. I'm going to fix you up a real Murphy bed. this guy? He is my brother. My brother Armand. Okay. So, what's going on? It is nothing, monsieur, nothing. My brother is mistaken. Mistaken? About what? I said about what? He says that earlier this morning he almost stumbled into a machine gun nest about half a mile down the valley. So? He says that in the nest were four German infiltrateurs dressed in American uniforms. And among them was Captain Kleppner himself. Kleppner? Now, how would he know that? My brother speaks German, monsieur. He heard the men in the machine gun nest call their leader, Captain Kleppner. He threw a grenade. He thought he had killed all four of them, but... But what? A few moments ago, as he was returning home, he again passed by the nest. He discovered that the leader had survived. Survived. Where is he now? Where is Clubman? He says he was badly wounded. But you and your men carried him here, to this house. Ah, your brother's crazy. Oh, j'ai vu. J'ai entendu. Les hommes, il appelait le capitaine Clubman. Il leur a donné commande de venir. À 17h, à Saint-Vite. Was that? The wounded man in the living room is the one the Germans called Captain Kleppner. He ordered them to meet him and all the other infiltrateurs at 1700 hours at Saint-Vite. We're free. <laughs>
Um, they killed each other. brought in those grain sacks. He was gonna fix my stretch up for me. So I'd be more comfortable. Go on. Well, then we, uh, we had someone come in out, out there in the kitchen. There's a big guy over there. It's the old man's brother, I guess. Anyhow, we heard them, uh, jabbering away at each other like there was some kind of big excitement. And all of a sudden, they burst in here and they grabbed my carbine and they held it on us. And then the, the one who talked English, he, he told us to put up our hands and to keep our yap shut that we wouldn't go no place until the German army arrived. We're collaborators, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Anyhow, old Larkin there, he... He went for his gun, and he shouldn't have done that, because, well, they killed him. Who took care of him, you? No. Larkin. He, uh, shot from the floor after he hit. He nailed them both. The, uh... I don't know if that speaks English. Do you say anything about the crowds? No, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, they, they can't be far away, can they? Otherwise, they wouldn't have pulled a gun on us like that, would they? Hey, now, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, that one, he did, he did say something about... about them coming down from the north. That'll bring them right through here. Let's move. Sarge, he's trying to say something. Say. I couldn't make it out. Something about the two of them collaborating with Klebner. Yeah, well, I figures. Like I told you, they said they were going to hold us here till the crowd showed. You sure our lines are to the south? Well, yeah, St. Vith, due south. Fix this treasure, huh? pieces here won't hold the hay. Look at the bottom, maybe you'll find something. Come on, Doc. How's the leg? Oh, now the doc says it's gonna be just fine. Can't figure out locking. 
knew what he was doing. Who can let those two old men get the drop on him, I'll never know. That's like I, I said, Sarge, you know. He never had a chance. When he had his back to the kitchen door when those guys busted in, they got that car man before he could do a thing. Hey, Sarge. Now you listen here. Don't, don't, don't you go blaming old Locker now. It wasn't his fault. Well, you know him a long time, huh? Yeah, I know him, basic. You've been in quite a while, huh? Yeah, yeah. Quite a while. Mm. <laughs> me too. Well, I don't know, Graf, or they give me no time at all. Came Pearl Harbor three days later in the morning mail. Greetings from the president. <laughs> Just three days, that's all. Oh, I tell you, I was fit to be tired. I took myself off down to that draft board and I said, Now you look here, you made yourself some mistake. I ain't no hero. You got yourself the wrong boy. <laughs> the best fight now, I do, I said, was against the revenueers. <laughs> Didn't do me no good, though. Oh, you know what those draft boards are like, I mean, especially a southern draft board. Hey, d tell me, you ever been to the South? Drove through there once. <gasps> Drove? <laughs> oh, no, man, you, uh, you can't see the beauty of the South out of a car. Oh, you gotta live there. You know me? I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, that's the Athens of the South. The land of watermelon and magnolia. You ever had any Southern cooking? You just haven't lived it. You've had Southern cooking. Yeah, I don't mean in no restaurant either. Oh, oh you got to get someone to invite you to their home. Mm, don't have to be no palace either. Well, my ma, now, when she breaks out them snap beans and biscuits and side meat, she... You know, I wish I could take you there right now. Yeah, this ought to do the trick. How's that for you? Oh, this is fine. Hey, fellas, you know, I, I really do appreciate this. I tell you, the, the guys in my own outfit, they wouldn't have done this for me. Not a bit. We'll head for the woods, do south. Stragglers that way between here and St. Vincent. Saunders is right. How are you holding up? Me, I'm fine. I'm riding. Well, you know, if, it, if it wasn't for you guys, I'd never made it back to my outfit. Forget it, Murph. Hey, Sarge. How about cracking open this wine I liberated? Hey, now hold on, man. We gotta be in St. Vincent by 1700 hours. We, we better keep moving. 1700 hours? What's the deadline? Uh, there's no deadline. Just uh, everyone knows it gets dark, start, starts getting dark around here, 1700. Yeah, with everyone jumpy over infiltrators, my guy can get shot first, questions asked after. 
Doc's got something there. Okay, let's get going, Doc. I'll spell you for a while. Thanks, sir. for the radiator. Oh. Hey, now, I was scared there for a minute. I thought we wasn't going to make the sand bees. I thought they was going to camp out there for the night. Nimm Wasser für Kaffee. Wir können für Kaffee haben. Stream and get him across down there. They spot us. If um, if it wasn't for me now, you could swing it now, couldn't you? What are you talking about? You know dang well what I'm talking about. If you didn't have to drag me along now, you could get through, couldn't you? You know what I want you to do. There's a crowd army coming from the north. Now, you know that. I want you to go down there and cross that stream while you still got time. And what happens to you? You forget about me. You, you mean just leave you here? No, oh, not just you. Just let me take care of myself. Now, come on now. I lived before you guys came along, I didn't I? You just forget that. We're getting you back to the American lines and in one piece. Oh. Oh, it's... It's gonna be dark soon. Oh, God. I'm not gonna make it. Are you hurting? <laughs> hurting? I ain't never stopped hurting. You didn't say anything about it. With you guys knocking yourselves out for me, I gotta be in a hospital, friend or enemy. I got. I need a doctor and medicine. But don't don't make me take three good guys along with me. I'll. Hofstager, come in, come in. They heard him. Thank you. 
Ich habe gesucht, wir haben nichts finden können. back on the trail. Is there any sign of their leaving? They're waiting for the coffee to boil. Um. They're coming. Great! John, take a look. I'm sorry. Fast now. With any luck, we'll be in St. Fifth in half hour. Let's go. Sarge, how much further do you think we gotta go now? I figure we should be just about there by now. Hey, St. Vith? Uh-huh. I figured right, we should be about here. Hey, well now that that means that, that, that village is just about half a mile away. Yeah, if we're as close to the roads, I hope we are. Hey. All right, why don't you take five and I'll go have a look, huh? I think it'll hurt any if I roll off this thing and rest on my belly for a while. Mm, go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, ooh. Ooh, thanks. Ooh. Hey, now. Well, that feels good. Mm. Ooh, my aching GI back. <laughs> oh. Let's break out that wine. Huh? Hey, yeah. Uh, I forgot all about it. You first, man. Oh, no, no. You're, you're the one that's been doing all the work. You first, huh? Yeah. Boy, that's <laughs> what the 
doctor ordered. Happy days. Thank you. I think I better sit up, huh? Nothing like the dandelion wine we have back home. Hey, Murph, where are you from? Dixie. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> what port? Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, the Athens of the South, the land of honeysuckle and magnolia. Boy, you make it sound like a travel folder. Have you ever been to Nashville, Tennessee? No, never have. I was there once. Oh, now, uh, see where I come from? That's just outside Nashville. It's a town called Donaldson. It's part of the Clover Bottom Farm. Yeah, now that that's Andy Jackson's old plantation. It's um, just a little town, you know, with uh, coal oil lamps and uh, outdoor plumbing. If you want to drink of water, you just go outside and dump a bucket down a well. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing fancy about my town. Uh, that is, except for the cooking. Hey, Doc, now, uh, have you ever had any southern cooking? No, a uh, restaurant. In a, in a restaurant? Oh, man, you don't... Oh. Oh, my back. Oh. How about it, Sarge? The boat's about a quarter of a mile right down that path. Hey. Did you go into St. Pete? No sense walking it twice. We're there. Hey, little John, I'll take you up on that wine now. Danke. Sie waren ein guten Tag Esel. I said, thank you for being my pack mules. A kraut. I resent the word kraut. Captain Friedrich Kleppner. At your service. If you were in my unit, I would have you shot. You are stupid and you are gullible. Hey. I couldn't walk, and you carried me where I wanted to go. Sandvith. What good is that going to do you, Klepner? Sandvith is full of American troops. You said so yourself. Sandvith is not full of Americans. Sandvith is where I rendezvous with my men. 50 of the most highly trained professional saboteurs and infiltrators. The moment I arrive, we move out on our next assignment. It was so very good of you, Sergeant, to bring me all this way with such dispatch. And as I said, thank you for being my pack mules. Hold it. Now I want to thank you, Captain, for telling me what I wanted to know, the reason you had to get to St. Vith. You knew he was Kleppner all along. Larkin told me before he died. He kept wanting to get to St. Vith by 1,700 hours. I just had to find out why. OK, come on, let's get this information back to headquarters so they can arrange a surprise party for his raiders. How? The nearest American headquarters are in Lorraine. That's 12 kilometers away. Oh, no, it isn't. It's about a kilometer right down that path. St. Vith is 12 kilometers away. I've taken you in the opposite direction. Now who's gullible, Captain? Okay, you pack mules. Let's go. <laughs> 